Hey folks, warm evening across the valley. Temperatures are still in the 70s and 80s valley wide. Looks like McAllen and the island still the warm spots at 81. Everybody else has dropped back into the 70s after a warm afternoon. Humidity was down for a time this afternoon, but it has come back up as dew points have climbed back up across the region. Future track says by morning, here your timeline, 7 a.m. Readings are only going to be in the 70s. We're not going to cool off as much tonight. Then during the daytime tomorrow, look at this. Back over 90 in the west again. 80s in the east again. And no real changes. Head on into Wednesday. Same thing. We start the day in the 70s. Climb back to 90 plus. Hidalgo and Star Counties. 80s in Willisie and Cameron Counties. And then we go back down to the 70s Wednesday night. We get into Thursday. And it suggests temperatures will be a little bit cooler. Still in the 80s, but not quite as warm as the next couple of days. That the suggestion that there'll probably be a few more clouds and maybe a few showers helping to keep temperatures down a little bit. So we go 91, 91, and then 88. So still above average, but uh, cooling off at least a little bit for the end of the week. Now here's future track as far as rainfall goes, and it suggests the sea breeze tries to activate tomorrow. A couple of places pick up a shower, but most do not. So if you see a shower off in the distance, it may never get to you. That's kind of the nature of these things. Same kind of thing on Wednesday. Not a real active day, just spotty stuff around. And then Thursday gets a little more active. The model suggests we see more showers around the area on Thursday. Sea breeze a little more active. We see more locations seeing rainfall. And we're putting the chance of rain on Thursday all the way up to 50% because it looks like at least a few places will see some pretty good rain on Thursday. Not everybody, not widespread, but there will be rain around the area. A little more confident in that tonight. All the moisture sitting just offshore, it's right there. It's so close, but the upper level winds are coming straight up out of the south. So all this stuff is just kind of sneaking by, going up into the coastal bend and then fading away as it moves inland. That process will continue tonight into tomorrow, so they'll continue to see showers up there. We just get more humid and we just kind of wait for something to change it. A weak front will move across Texas Thursday into Friday. Technically, it'll pass through and it'll cool us off three or four degrees, but that's about it. This is a very weak front, so its impact will not be all that great. At the coast, there is a coastal flood advisory in effect. Also a high risk of rip currents. Be extra careful if you're headed to the beach. Temperatures tomorrow afternoon in the 80s, even into tomorrow night in the 80s. The surf temperature still warm, 83 degrees. Here's a look at uh, your tides. A low and a high seas, 3 to 5 feet. So tonight, 71 for a low clouds and low, uh, low clouds and fog later. Tomorrow back up to 91. Isolated showers. But again, it's much more miss than hit across the area tomorrow. Some 91s and an 88. We will go down to 86 for Friday, Saturday, Sunday because of that weak front. It does take temperatures down a little bit, but not a lot. And then Saturday night, Sunday morning, set your clocks back. That's your updated First Warn 5 forecast. Joel?